it's terrifying. Like, if you look at the shelves, it looks like COVID toilet paper. Like, no, empty. True Crozier of Rocky River turned to formula after her six-week-old baby, Keen, had trouble feeding. A lot of moms go into having a baby thinking, I'm going to breastfeed and it's going to go great and, you know, I'm going to feed my baby. And then things don't always work out that way. True's new mom stress only compounded by the nationwide formula shortage. To go in there every time and to see and to just start looking and think, oh my gosh, are they going to have the one that I need? And uh, yeah, it's scary. At Cleveland Clear Children's, our phones are ringing off the hook, our MyChart messages. So what's going on? According to Dr. Richard So with Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital, it's a mix of inflation, supply chain shortages, and product recalls. I think a good message for the new parents out there or the parents of new babies is that they shouldn't be very brand specific. So added parents panic buying formula increased the shortage. It may be a little bit more expensive, maybe ready to feed. Use it is what we say. But what we don't want you to do is we don't want you to make your own formula. You should never dilute an infant formula. Dr. Kevin Turner with UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital advised against switching to cow milk too soon or even using toddler formula. It can cause problems with uh, nutritional electrolyte imbalances. And if you or someone you know is struggling to feed your baby, healthcare professionals suggest contacting your child's pediatrician or the local food bank for help. Meantime, the scarce supply has mothers like True looking out for other moms in the same situation. And luckily they had three cans of the kind that he uses. And, and I thought, you know, should I buy all these three or should I leave one for the next person that walks in here panicking because they need formula? It's insanity. It's, you know, you're just trying to feed your baby.